this video is an example of how you can turn any of your dribbling skills into a footwork pattern that then you can practice in a smaller amount of space. When we do dribbling skills and it's slow, low, go, you need some space to accelerate into. So if you're working on your technique and you're working on your skill, then you can still get the repetitions of your skill. That means you can do them lots of times, but into a footwork. So as an example, I'll show you a few different skills. So a scissors footwork could be right scissor, left touch, left scissor, right touch. So I'm still practicing that skill, but I don't need loads of space to work on it. Okay. Other examples could be a Rivellino, press, Rivellino, 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 Rivellino. And I can also work on the speed of what I'm doing. Other examples could be an Edu, so step over scissors touch, step over scissors touch. Quite a difficult skill, but I'm just working on it in a meter. Okay, could be push gas that way, push gas that way, push gas that way, push gas that way. So I can work on the disguise, I can work on the speed, I can work on both feet, I just don't get the acceleration at the end, but that's fine, you can practice that another time. So any skill you've got, you can turn it into a footwork. Could be Zico scissors, Zico scissors, Zico scissors, Zico scissors. So that's quite a complicated one, but proves my point. You don't need loads of space and you can still push yourself, push the tempo and really test both feet and how quickly you can do the skill. And you can hear my breathing. It's a very good way of improving your fitness as well.